Hello, it's Tim Perfect, and I'm going to do something a little bit different today. Um, I was shopping for a uh, an LCD uh, touchscreen display for a project, a uh, different project I was working on, and um, I discovered this. This is a uh, premium case for the Raspberry Pi 7-inch touchscreen, which I thought was kind of neat. I knew I had not gotten the touchscreen from the Raspberry Pi before, but this one was kind of interesting because it has kind of it uh, sits up on a tabletop and allows you to um, uh, kind of set up and have the Raspberry Pi with the touchscreen on it, which is kind of neat. It has uh, the ports accessible here, Ethernet and USB ports, um, as well as HDMI and uh, power. And um, the back comes off of it as well, so you can have access to it. So it's a very slick enclosure. It doesn't make the Raspberry Pi look kind of like a development board. Um, so I figured I'd show how I um, how you put it together. So um, there's there's what, gonna, what the final thing is going to look like. Some screws that go with it. Of course, then we have our Raspberry Pi, which is I just have a Raspberry Pi 3 Model B, which the uh, both the display and the uh, stand support. So there's our Raspberry Pi. We'll set this over here for a minute. Get rid of that. And then here's the touchscreen display that's actually put out by the Raspberry Pi organization. I'll use this as kind of my board to wire stuff up. And I'll pull out, here's the actual LCD display, touchscreen display. And it's kind of neat because it comes with um, all the stuff that you need to hook it up. It comes with some screws. Uh, to wire up the Raspberry Pi in the back, which I'll show you in a minute. It comes with a ribbon connector and um, four four wires, of which we'll only use two of them. So, um, so the first thing you do, you see on the back, they've actually mounted a uh, a board um, on the back of the screen. So we're gonna first thing we're gonna do is gonna attach the uh, well, I'll attach the ribbon cable, and then uh, we'll attach the Raspberry Pi itself. So first thing we'll do is. You can see there's uh, this is one of those pull connectors where you pull off our uh, it's a pressure uh, ribbon cable uh, connector and uh, the uh, connectors go up like this. Okay, is that pushed in there? Looks like it's in there solid. Not quite solid. Let me get this other end. There we go. Very solid. Okay, get my Raspberry Pi. When I sign uh, the, the actual pins line up, uh, there's going to put a jumper from one side to the next, so we know that it goes in this orientation. So I'll just attach this here. Okay, so now that's on solid, and I'll just pop this uh, ribbon connector up, put in the ribbon cable. Okay, that's in there solid. So there, that's all tucked up. Next thing we need to do is you can run this display two different ways. You can run power separately through this uh, USB uh, mini connector or micro connector. Uh, so there's one on the Pi and then there's one on the uh, screen. So you can run them separately. Or you can use their fancy dancy jumper cables. I'm going to cut off the rubber band because I'm only going to use two of them. I don't really want to um, have extra wires laying around if I don't need them. So we'll just use black for ground and red for power. And it's very simple. Um, in here, there is a uh, wire, there's a header pin. Um, we'll take red, which is pin number one. They're actually, I believe, labeled on there. Yep, says five volts on there. And then the last one is ground. And then the Raspberry Pi pin two is five volts. And uh, pin six is ground so install that and that's it so that's pretty much installed um, next thing we'll do is we'll actually put it into the enclosure um, before I do that let me throw in the uh, SD card actually probably should have done that because the ribbon cable is kind of in the way but let me go ahead and stick this in there we go so now I should be able to power this up and be able to use the touch screen display and then we'll do the final assembly first thing I need is at least a 2 amp power supply and that's what I have here. Two amp, uh, this is a, uh, a two and a half amp power supply uh, with a micro USB on the other side. So I'll go ahead and plug this in. I'll plug it into the uh, the uh, LCD, which powers the Raspberry Pi. You can see that that comes on, and I should have. There we go. We got some 
If we got four raspberries showing up. There we go. We got a mouse pointer. And we got Welcome to Raspberry Pi. So the first thing I'll do is I will just uh, let's see if I can shut it down, shut down, and shut down, shut down cleanly. And we could see it should see the light stop flickering. It's still turn. You can see the red and yellow LED is still flashing. Um, once that stops, we know we're safe to unplug it. There we go. All done. So let me do the final enclosure. Oh, one of the, one of the things I did discover that it's nice if you just plug these, if you just slide these wires under here or tape them with a little piece of black electrical tape. I'll just do that for now. And you can see that the, uh, the USB connectors go on this side. And I'll just pop the back off. And you can see that it fits in there really nice. The ribbon cable folds over. So we set this down and do the last four screws. Next thing we'll do, put the back on. That's it. Now the, the fun part of peeling the plastic off. Ooh, look at that. Very fancy. And I will put the power onto it. And there we go. We got our, our Raspberry Pi in a very slick case. I can sit on a tabletop. Um, the one thing you'll notice is that it is upside down, um, but there's a LCD underscore flip equals two that you can put into the uh, the uh, the config.txt file. Uh, so just pop it into your Mac or PC and edit that file and switch it. Um, but um, that'll change the orientation of it. But for now, at least for this, you can see I got fully available touchscreen display in your Raspberry Pi in a really nice form factor. All right, well, thanks for watching. Uh, please uh, subscribe to the channel or like the video if you like it. I'm going to continue making some more of these as long as people keep liking and subscribing to the channel. So please do. And uh, please head over to twocanoes.com to see some of the software we make. We make a product called SD Clone that allows you to easily uh, clone uh, uh, SD cards and restore them. Um, the SD card I used in this one was... Uh, um, from just this, this desktop Raspbian, and uh, I used SD Clone to be able to restore that to the SD card. So uh, please subscribe and like this video, and be sure to check back for more upcoming videos. Thanks very much for watching.